Hello friends, greetings from Iceland again. We stopped here for Stampar craters. It's a fish of uh, four kilometers, full of craters from 1210 to 1240. The eruption lasted for 30 years. Uh, so call it the Ray Kenneth fires. Uh, some went. Uh, you see, we are on the very western tip of uh, Reykjanes Peninsula. This is called the Reykjanes Volcano. All this area that you see around us belongs to Reykjanes Volcano. Same one which erupted north of Grindavik, same volcanic system, which is interconnected with Fagradalsfjall. So, back in the 13th century, it started 1210. Here on the very western edge of Reykjanes, we had fish eruption. Same one like north of Grindavik, several kilometers long, emitting a lot of lava which flooded four square kilometers. But here on the west of Reykjanes Peninsula, we have much less vegetation than uh, further east. You see, there is almost no moss here, unlike in fact, those shots, there's like zero vegetation, very little, very little vegetation here as you see. And I'm filming in 4K resolution for you and we are hiking one of the craters from 1210. We have a big group of tourists, 25 people from Finland, Korea, um, Germany, Canada, USA, Italy. Some other countries, China, all interested in the volcanoes, on um, geology and nature of Iceland. People come here really in thousands. Obviously, this crater didn't last long. It doesn't look big, but maybe some days. I don't know. Nobody knows, Iceland was uninhabited. No, it was inhabited already, actually. Not many people live here. First residents came in the 9th century, so... People already live here, they saw this eruption. And there is a hornito, by the way. You know this thing? It's called the hornito. Maybe I will walk there later, I'll show you the crater. And then the hornito. <laughs> yeah, you see a lot of iron here, red, red rock. Call it scoria. This is scoria. It's not that impressive like Stora Elburg, but still. <laughs> it's sweet. Yeah. Small one. There we have many tectonic faults between Europe and America. I think this is the lava channel. This is not a fault, but the lava channel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll film you. There you see a hornito. You know this formation? This kind of hut. It looks like a hut. It's called a hornito from Spanish. It's a okay. special type of volcanic. Okay. Uh, it's not really a volcano, but it's kind of a swelling on the lava field. 
Yeah, yeah it, the smell comes from geothermal power plant actually, not, not from the volcano, but from there. How are you doing? I'm good. Mita cool. Mita Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, yeah thank you. How is this Hornito? There are quite many of them here on the lake, the lake and peninsula. Here you see it, it's like uh, three meters high, maybe. Yeah, three meters. Thank you, have a nice day.